Take every crumb they throw you. Success, one fripicism at a time. Take every crumb they throw you. Because opportunity does not knock once, it knocks all the time. We do not always recognize the sound. This story is a blast from my past. Life lessons from movie stars and Hollywood. Early in her career, TV host Joan London received great advice from Barbara Walters. Take every crumb they throw you and handle them magnificently. You never know which magnificent crumb is going to be your big break. Burt Reynolds had made 10 films before director John Borman cast him in the film Deliverance. Burt asked Borman, which of my films impressed you so you gave me this terrific part? None of them, said Borman. I saw you guest host The Tonight Show. You were fearless in controlling the five guests. The guy in Deliverance has to control three people in a stressful situation. This leads us to the next point. At that time, Johnny Carson was the king of late night television. Burt developed a character for the show a super cocky, wise-cracking, devil-may-care womanizer. And Johnny absolutely loved him. Bert's TV persona was not the kind of guy you would want to live with. And it made great television. Their routines would go something like this. Johnny would ask, What are you going to do after the show? Bert would reply, oh, walk up and down Broadway and try to get recognized. Then he'd wink at the camera as if to say, I'm having a good time and being rich and famous ain't bad either. All guests on The Tonight Show had strict instructions not to talk to Johnny during commercials. So Bert was chatting with Egg McMahon when Johnny suddenly leaned over and asked, how would you like to guest host while I'm on vacation? No actor had ever been invited to guest host before, only comedians. When Bert first hosted The Tonight Show, he had the staff book his ex-wife, Judy Carr. Everyone was in astonished, including Judy. They hadn't spoken in six years and still had unresolved marital issues and a lot of animosities. However, Burt Reynolds knew what my pal, copywriting guru, David Garfinkel, is always telling me. People love conflict. They love to see people fighting who deep down share affection and attraction. So Judy Khan came on the show, sat down and said, hmm, you look good. Bert said, I hate to tell you, but you do so as well. She asked, what have you been doing? Bert quipped. Oh, hanging around street corners trying to sell Bert and Judy towels. They are tough to get rid of. She admitted that she and her current husband were having problems. Bert said, well, I've grown up a lot since we were married. The audience clearly was hoping they'd kiss and make up and get back together. Superb theater. How often have you ever felt that a particular job was beneath you or too trivial to merit your best effort? Remember the fripicism and advice from Barbara Walters. Take every crumb they throw you and handle them magnificently.
you never know which of the well-delivered small opportunities lead to your big break. When it comes to journalism, there are few individuals who have a career as iconic as Barbara Walters. Joan London is an American journalist, an author, and a TV host. She was co-host of ABC's Good Morning America in 1980 to 1997. And she has authored eight books. Burt Reynolds made at least 67 movies and was named Sexiest Man Alive. Judy Kahn was an English actor actress best remembered for the phrase sock it to me on Rowan and Martin's laughing. Remember, opportunity does not knock once. It knocks all the time. We do not always recognize the sound. Success. One fripicism at a time.